Hey guys, welcome back to channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 10 to 1,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep liking, commenting, sharing everything that you guys do. Never go the notice. Hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed. Please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Just give me the name or the link and I'll be sure to check it out. Just comment them down below. Find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse. Head there to say hi and we'll say hi back. Our vlogging channel, Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe and enjoy the content that um, we put out. So today I'm going to be reacting to what I react to the Quran. So without wasting time. A big shout out to the person that suggested this so without wasting time let's get into the video japanese scientist masaru emoto discovers the secrets of zamzam water science has now revealed new secrets about zamzam water and the way water is influenced by the verses of the quran it has now been scientifically proven that water is affected by what is recited over it. Japanese scientist Masari Moto first began experimenting on water after he had read that each snowflake falling from the sky is unique. He wanted to disprove this theory as his scientific instincts told him that this could not be true. The geometric shape of the snowflake is determined by its chemical composition. The composition of water is well known, two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. So, how can snowflakes that fall from the sky be different from one another? He said, I was determined to prove that this theory was false. So he built a laboratory, consisting of a deep freezer with a regulator because no liquid subjected to a sudden freezing can assume a geometric shape. The freezing must be slow, so the atoms have the chance to crystallize into the shape decreed by God. He set up a deep freezer with a regulator, a cold room at a temperature of minus 7 degrees Celsius and several microscopes equipped with the cameras so he could photograph the snowflake before it melted. He said, I took samples from two faucets in the laboratory. I froze them and each sample gave me a different snowflake. The samples came from two different wells, two different rivers, from two different lakes. A Muslim later introduced Dr. Emoto to Zemzem water so he could experiment on it. Emoto took a sample of Zemzem water and said, I couldn't crystallize it, even by diluting the Zemzem water with distilled water. He finally managed to crystallize the Zemzem water after diluting it by 1000, one drop of Zemzem mixed with 1000 drops of distilled water. And he got a uniquely shaped crystal. Two crystals were formed, one on top of the other. Mr. Emoto's colleagues said that the two crystals could be due to the fact that Zemzem water is composed of two words, Zem and Zem, Allah knows best. Masara Emoto said, My Muslim colleague offered to play Quranic verses over the water. He bought a tape recorder and played some Quranic verses. And we got the most perfectly shaped crystals, subhanAllah. These are actual images of the crystals that were formed after the verses of the Quran were played. Dr. Emoto was also told that Muslims recite Bismillah, which means in the name of God, before drinking water. This has been practiced by Muslims since the time of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The word Bismillah was found to improve the quality and the structure of even regular water. Alhamdulillah. Dr. Emoto completed these experiments which lasted 15 years. He published a five volume book called Messages from Water. He wrote, I have proven that water is capable of thinking, fathoming, feeling and expressing itself. The following was written by Dr. Masuri Emoto. The quality and purity of Zemzem water will not be found anywhere else on this earth. He did a lot of research on Zemzem water and found that if one drop of Zamzam water is mixed in 1000 drops of regular water, regular water will increase in quality similar to Zamzam water. The minerals in one drop of Zamzam water were far superior to any other water he had tested. He also found that the quality of Zamzam water could not be changed. Even after he recycled the Zamzam water, there was no change, it was still pure. For those who are unsure of what Zamzam is, we will explain briefly. The Zamzam well was revealed to Hajar, the second wife of Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him. By the instruction of God, Ibrahim السلام, left his wife and son at a spot in the desert and walked away. She was desperately seeking water for her infant son, but she could not find any way. As Mecca is located in a hot, dry valley with few sources of water, Hajar ran seven times back and forth in the scorching heat between the two hills of Safa and Marwa, looking for water, getting thirstier by the second. Allah sent the angel Jibreel السلام, who struck the ground with his wing and the Zamzam water rose from the ground. 
A similar story about a well is also mentioned in the Bible. Ibrahim السلام, rebuilt the house of God, the Kaaba near the site of Zamzam well, a building which had been originally constructed by Prophet Adam, peace be upon him. Today, Muslims from around the globe all face the Kaaba in prayer five times a day. The Zamzam well is located approximately 20 meters or 66 feet east of the Kaaba. This was an amazing video to come across. Um, so many questions that I have in relation with Islam. Do Muslims believe that water can heal? You know, because there are many people out there that um, are very sure that water has many, I don't know, for lack of a better word, I'm going to use powers. So water has healing powers, all sorts of powers you can think of. And others, while they meditate, they use water, you know. And they've testified that while meditating and saying this to my water, this came to be in my life. How do Muslims feel about such a thing, you know? Because, I think, let me correct myself, instead of power, this is energy. Like there's so much energy in water and it can give you what you want. You people pray while they're holding water or sitting by water or whatever it is, you know. But water is there. People pray, they meditate, they say all sorts of things to water and it comes to be. Is it allowed to do such a thing in Islam? Is it not allowed? Um, do you guys believe it's got the energy contained in water is so much and what's the explanation behind water that actually you know after you pray after you speak and this comes to be what do you think that symbolizes also what's just the story behind water because i don't think um i don't know because water is quite unique in whatever it is you know is it because of the elements it's contained What's so special about water that people use it for various things, the things that are mentioned, not just someone thinking, ah, but we use it for bathing. No, I'm saying I feel like there's something in water. That's why people speak to it. That's why people cherish water. Because not everyone even knows this, though. Not everyone practices what I'm saying, but there are some people out there that are convinced that if I speak to this water, Tomorrow, I will be living the life that I want. If I speak to this water, I will be healed. You know, that's why some churches have um, anointing water or holy water or whatever it is. And when people take that thing, they say, I'm delivered from my disease. I'm delivered from this and that. Life is better. All those sorts of things. Why do you think people do such things? And... Do Muslims agree with the thought or idea of holy water? That would be something interesting to actually understand, you know, because the guy that prayed over the Zamzam water or said whatever he said for them, for it to crystallize, he knows something that many of us don't know, many of us don't understand, and it would help, you know, if there are videos out there that explain them. There are actually videos that people make and put out concerning water and all these things that happen. People can check them out, but I'm actually eager to see or know what the Muslims have to say about such a thing. So let me know what you guys actually think about this video. Are you for it? Are you not for it? What is it? Where do you stand with this particular topic of the Zamzam water? Let me know what you guys think. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Please suggest something for me to react to and I'll do it. I'll see you in my next reaction video.